Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the Mona Lisa Stakes, which is race six at Wyong on Friday. Um, $200,000 listed race, set weights and penalties for fillies and mares over the 13.50. Uh, the short priced favourite in this is Alentia, um, the lightly race improver from the Chris Waller Yard. It is also engaged, it goes around $1.85 in this, and we feel there's value opposing it, but it's also engaged to go around on Saturday in the tramway, which is race nine on the card. And in the tramway, it's also favoured at 2.45. Um, Kieran McAvoy booked on Saturday, and we've got... Um, <coughs> Kira McAvoy booked on Friday as well. So just not sure where Chris Waller's going to go with this one yet. If it gets scratched from the race, it's going to shorten up the market considerably, the two that we want to be backing here. But we found two at good double-figure odds that we want to nibble at um, on an each-way basis to oppose Alentia. Uh, we feel we can get a beat. And they are the three Wollombi. Goes around 15.03.5. And the other one that we're interested in backing is the 11 Sandstock. Very well bred. 31.0, 6 so that we they're the two that we want to be backing here. Nibble out both of them on an each way basis for a result across the race. The three will on by 15.03.5 and the 11 sand stock 31.0, 6.0. Likely to be run at a moderate to even tempo this race. Um, let's go and take a look at these two. We'll start off with will on by. Okay, deceivingly well bred by Extreme Choice out of the Hinchinbrook Mayor Hazelbrook. Um, four from 13 winner, still relatively lightly tried with decent scope for more. Draws barrier 13 with Sam Clipperton up. Um, has won a trial in prep for this, uh, which is unusual for a Snowden chart, suggesting it's pretty much forward. The run we're going to go on is its win back on the 18th of February when it won the Group 3 Vanity, knocking off See You in Heaven and Papillon Club. The form coming out of this race um, stacks up pretty strongly. See you in heaven the start prior. Was only beaten 0.4 of a length by Shimino. Um, trained on to win the Group 3 behemoth at the start of this preparation. Um, third home, the Pillon Club by uh, Toronado. Decent form come out next start in the Group 2 CUNY and was only beaten 0.1 of a length by Revolutionary Miss. Um, good form further back in this race as well. Put good gaps back to Royal Merchant, Nunthorpe, Queen Air, Senzella, and also Climbing Star. Now the fourth horse home, Royal Merchant. Let's go back deeper into its form. Start prior was beaten 3.25 by Wollombi. Start prior was beaten only 0.6 of a length by a Jacano in the Manfred. Uh, then come out and ran second to Shuffle Dancer in the group to uh, Armanasco. Fifth horse home, Nunthorpe. Frank's a revolutionary miss um, form line. Beaten 3.3 by Wollombi. Comes out in the group two, CUNY. Only beaten 1.6 by revolutionary miss. So those form lines sort of suggest that um, Wollombi on its day through that group three win in the vanity is a pretty high class group horse on the make um, with good scope for more. Uh, you've got to respect Peter and Paul Snowden aiming at this um, off a five, six week break after the Last start, fourth to Colino um, at Rose Hill, over 1,300. Looks like it's come on from there. Uh, gets in with 58, only rises two kilos on the 56 it carried in the vanity under the set weights and penalties. Looks very well placed at the $15. That's the first one that we want to be backing. And the second one is the well-bred sand stock. Um, gets in very well rated, rate, weighted with 55 kg. With Tom Sherry up for John O'Shea, four from ten, winner, lightly race, decent scope for more. I'm just going to pull up the breeding of this one quickly. Okay, so sand stocks by Tavistock out of the Stravinsky mare, Sarah Ann. She herself um, was unraced, uh, but she's got the stakes winner, Tavago, who won the Australian Derby at Group 1 level, the Wellington Stakes and the Sky High. Then if we go back to the second dam, Trisha Ann by Zabil. Uh, she's got a stakes winner as well of three stakes races, or Cizeran, won the Group 2 winner stakes in Brisbane, and also two Group 3 races. And if we go back to the third dam, she was a bit of a blue hen, my Trisha. Um, she got five stakes winners of 11 stakes races, including Grosvenor. 
who won the size produce Victorian Derby, the Caulfield Guineas, all at Group 1 level, and four other minor stakes winners as well. So this family through the first, second, and third dam is absolutely littered with black type. Um, if we go and have a look at the form of Sandstock, pretty quickly becomes evident that there's form to suggest this one's well placed here. This trial second uh, just fine with Cafe Millennium back in third. Um, suggests it's ready to fire first up from a spell. That was visually impressive. But this win back over Powerful Peg and Zelady Luck on the 15th of February um, reads well. Let's go back deeper into this. Okay, so Powerful Peg in second. Come out in one next start, knocking off Master Showman. Good form lines back to Chorlton Lane since then. Calling die, knocked off calling die in real peace. Was only beaten 4.1 by how good are you when it was a bit of a failure run that day. So that's the second to Sandstock. So Lady Luck, who finished third to Sandstock, beaten three lengths. The start prior was only beaten 1.3 by Wollombi. There's the Wollombi form line. If we go back deeper into this run, Flower Moon in fourth. Good gaps further back. Five lengths to fifth, five and a half to sixth. The fourth horse home, Flower Moon. The start prior was only beaten 3.9 by Esone. The fifth horse home, Myoshi. Um, beaten 5.1. Next start was only beaten four lengths by Lavoie. And the sixth horse home, Aaron Moore. Here's another good line. Only beaten 0.6 by uh, Running Bear two starts later. After being beaten by Sandstock twice in a row. So all the form out of this race suggests there's plenty more to come for Sandstock yet. And the trial, most recent trial second, um, I'm just going to pull that up and show you that as well. It's visually impressive, suggesting there's more to come for this one yet. Okay, so this is a trial of um, Sandstock with just fine winning and... Cafe Millennium back in third. Speed and leads piercing arrow in the early part. Queen of the Mile is working forward. Goes to this is Sandstock back on the inside. Sandstock. Wide out was good banter and Cafe Millennium just being steady as they really put the handbrake on here in the field jamming. Run at a moderate tempo. Front runner is just fine. Strong through the line. In front of piercing arrow. Depo might be fine. So this is Sandstock back here on the inside. Just finds a well-bred type import from Europe uh, by Frankel, I think, from memory. Cafe Millennium comes home for third. This is Sandstock getting up along the inside. Put under a moderate hand ride. Really starts to pick up the leader in the last 150, 120 metres. Good piece of work. Strong hand ride now. Giving a good hit out. Cafe Millennium coming home in third. So that's a pretty good trial to suggest that there's more to come for Sandstock yet, being a lightly race four from 10 winner. They're going to send it round at $31. Can be backed in support of Wollombi for a result across the race. So the two that we want to be backing here once again are the three Wollombi, 15.0, 3.5, and the 11 Sandstock, 31.0, 6.0. Um, back them both on an each way basis for a result across the race. That is Simona Lisa Stakes, race six at Wyong on Friday. Thanks.